Yo, what's up? It's your favorite Simone Barkeep here. And we are finally going to get into this E.H. Taylor barrel proof. 131.1 proof. Batch 12. Here we go. Right, so I already told the story about how I got this bottle. So one of my subscribers hit me up, said, hey, I got an extra bottle of the E.A. Taylor Batch 12. I've been looking for a Burr Eye from High West. Any way you can help me, you already know. If I can help somebody find a bottle that they can't find, I'm helping them. So I got an extra bottle of the Burr Eye, met up with the guy, boom, 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 Batch 12. So, I've had batch 11, very, very tasty. Let's try batch 12. Hmm. So, E.H. Taylor, that's one of my favorite bourbons. Their entire line. I love the small batch. Uh, the straight rye is solid. The barrel proof has always been my favorite. I've only had samples until now. My first time having my own bottle super excited about that and it turned out i think on my blind the single barrel was actually came in last so you know single barrel that i got wasn't my jam but i got another single barrel coming next week from uh the ballard cut so they did a charity barrel so i ordered one of the bottles so that should be coming soon so i'll have another single barrel to kind of try against this one to see if it's any different Oh, so you definitely get the proof on this one. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm getting a lot of uh, caramel. Getting some berry, fruity kind of notes. And then just, you definitely can tell that this one's a high proofer. Let's try it out. Cheers. Oh my God, get the f out of here. So this, to me, tastes like a higher proof version of the small batch. So I know a lot of people, the small batch isn't their favorite. For me, I love the small batch, so this just tastes like a higher proof version of the small batch. I'm getting just blasted of like caramel flavor, vanilla. I don't get any of that cherry or berry kind of note I was getting on the nose. And for 131 proof, I mean, yesterday I did the, something that was 120. That was killing me. But 131, it's the perfect amount of heat. Just, <sighs> damn, this E.H. Taylor Bell proof is, this is one of my favorite bottles, guys. If you can get yourself one of these, get it. It is so tasty. Oh, my gosh. So it just so happens that the guy who gave me this bottle also gave me a big ass sample of batch 11. So let's try the E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof Batch 11 and kind of give it a little comparison. Let me get some water first. All right, so this is batch 11. I don't have the proof right in front of me here. I'll look it up and uh, put it in the con or in the. Uh, I'll make a graphic later of what the proof is on batch eleven, but hmm. So batch eleven, I'm not getting as much of that sweetness. Still smells delightful. Hmm. So like I said, I don't know what the proof is, but on the batch 11, I actually get a little bit more, tastes a little harsher than the batch 12. Hmm. I mean, I don't get as much sweetness on this one, on the uh, batch 11. So, I mean, it's still fire, don't get me wrong. If you can find a batch 11, batch 12, batch whatever, just get it. 
But uh, let me just try this. Oh. Yeah. So that's just... That one kind of reminds me more of the single barrel that I have. So it's a little bit more kind of fruit forward and then just banging you with that proof. And so that's batch 11. Batch 12. Batch 12 is just vanilla, caramel. Oh my gosh. This... I don't I can't. I gotta just end this because I'm gonna sound like a... I'm gonna sound like a... E.H. Taylor Homer apologist but I am oh man this shit is delicious don't ask me for any samples of this cause I'm drinking this whole bottle myself if you want to try this out you gotta stop by the bar alright so E.H. Taylor batch 11 versus batch 12 both of them worth grabbing but I prefer Batch 12. This one is delicious. So, um, I mean, can you find these? A lot of people in Washington have been finding them recently at or around MSRP, so a little over 100 bucks. So mine end up costing me about 125. That's how much the High West Burr Ride bottle costs. So a little bit more than MSRP, but um, when you add in the Washington state tax, probably ended up about the same. Um, would I overpay for this? No, because I'm broke. As you can see, I got too much bourbon as it is. But I mean, if I had the money, I mean, if I saw this for 200 on the shelf plus the crazy Washington tax, sold. 250 I mean, that's getting to a little bit where it's like close. But I mean, after trying this, yeah, you already know. I'm getting it. Anything higher than that, that's a little too crazy for me. So, I don't get into those crazy secondary prices, but... Whew, this is a banger. Alright, well, as always, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Cheers.